For centuries, stars were just points of light. Now we're turning them into places, transforming speculation into a science of discovery. The revolution began in 2009 with the Kepler Space Telescope. It used the transit method, monitoring stars for tiny dips in light, to reveal that planets are not rare, but common throughout our galaxy. In 2018, the TESS satellite took this search wide, scanning nearly the entire sky to find the closest transiting exoplanets, creating a catalog of prime targets for follow-up. With targets identified, the James Webb Space Telescope gave us the ability to see what was previously invisible. As a planet transits, starlight filters through its atmosphere, and JWST's instruments can decode its chemical fingerprint, detecting water, methane, and carbon dioxide on worlds light years away. But the ultimate goal isn't just finding planets, it's about chemistry. We are searching for atmospheres in a state of chemical imbalance, atmospheres that can only be explained by the presence of life. We're looking for biosignature pairs, like oxygen coexisting with methane. Together they react and destroy each other, so finding them in the same atmosphere suggests something is constantly replenishing them. Eventually, one or two planets will look suspicious. There will be no signals, just the persistent, inexplicable signature of air that shouldn't exist on its own. An atmosphere that points to a biological engine. This is what the first hint of life will look like. Not a conversation, but a line on a graph. Evidence before contact. From dots in the sky to potential destinations, our cosmic neighborhood is finally coming into focus. If you've ever looked up and wondered who else might be out there, this is your decade. The tools are built. The search is on. Subscribe for the moment the data finally blinks back.